Today we are gonna talk about the five things you absolutely must do before you buy a home. Okay, the first thing you need to do is you need to be real with how much house you can afford. All the excitement of buying a new home aside, this is the first step you need to take before you start looking. And there's a couple of different things to consider. Just because you can afford it, doesn't mean you're comfortable with that payment. So your home loan repayment and the cost of owning your home will absolutely impact your budget more than your possible rent payments. So you definitely want to consider your budget. And if you're looking at taking out a loan, while it might be tempting to borrow your maximum amount, you definitely want to look at what are those payments? Look at how much you're paying today and you want to be able to compare apples to apples of what payments you can expect to have from your loan, what other payments when you purchase a home and make sure it is a payment that you are totally comfortable with before you start searching for homes in that price point. So you're also going to want to consider how much money you have saved to put down on your home because this is going to impact all of the above. So there are different loan products out there with different uh, home security or excuse me home deposits and they are going to vary and they are going to also then impact your payment and what your total repayment is for the loan. So that's all factors you need to look at before you even start looking and looking on the internet to see what homes you might be interested in. The second thing you need to consider is all the other costs. Sometimes we'll talk about these as the silent costs because uh, you don't even remember them or know, depending on what state you're in, the costs can vary. So you also want to make sure that you're taking into account when you consider what payment you're comfortable with, um, any additional insurances that you need, any loan fees that might be on there. Um, if you're not putting 20% down, you might have private mortgage insurance. And then um, don't forget, you also need to have some money for inspections, building inspections, things like that. Once you find the home that you want to move forward on, you need to have money put aside so that you can handle all of that while you're going through the home buying process. Okay, number three, you've got to research, research, research. Once you've made the decision that yes, you're going to look, maybe you're going to buy a second home, maybe you're thinking of moving to Southwest Florida, you want to do some research ahead of time because there are a lot of places to move. There are a lot of communities, a lot of towns, and it can be incredibly overwhelming. So you really need to start thinking about what areas they are that you'd like to live in. Uh, you can start looking at what are some recent sales prices, check out, um, you know, Google the neighborhood, see what people have to say about the neighborhood, about the town. You also want to start talking to local agents and get a feel for how the market's been trending and start figuring out who do you jive with? Who do you want to trust to help you with this purchase? Because it is important that you have a knowledgeable realtor who does real estate full time and totally understands the market trends. You want somebody like that on your side. Check out how different neighborhoods are selling and you can use our property profile file reports and you can ask your trusted realtor to pull you some reports and show you what is the history on the neighborhood, what is the history on the home, and get all of that data to start helping you make your decision when you're ready to move forward on buying a home. And while we're talking about that, you don't want to forget about future resale value. So it is an important factor in the decision. You also want to think about when you're ready to move to your next home. You know, most people actually move every five to seven years. That sometimes surprises people. But when you look at national statistics, that's what they tell us. So you also want to take into account what's happening with the schools in the area, how much growth is happening in the neighborhood and communities that you're looking at, what is coming in the future, uh, what type of transportation options are there, what is the access to amenities, restaurants, schools, and most importantly, what's happening in that neighborhood itself. You wanna make sure that you protect yourself for your future possible home sale. So the fourth thing to consider is, you know, do you, would you be better off renovating your home? Now, obviously, if you're moving to a different area, the answer is gonna be no. But whether it's renovating your current home and staying in it, or whether it's just being open to renovating when you find the, the home of your dreams or the location of your dreams, because as you know, location, location, location is one of the most important pieces of real estate. Our real estate is hyper local. So sometimes you need to think about if you find the perfect location, are you willing to do renovation to get that home up to what you want it to be? And what kind of budget do you have for that? So 
all of these factors go into all the research and everything that you have to think about when you're considering purchasing a home. Okay, number five, negotiate on your terms. This is gonna be one of the biggest financial decisions you make of your life. So you definitely don't wanna make an impulse-based purchase because you're feeling pressured. The good news is, is with the change in our market and the shift that's happening, people have time to make decisions again. So you wanna use that time and be productive with it. And remember, you're in control. You can always walk away. If something is not feeling right or you're feeling too pressured, you can just say, stop. I need a minute and that's okay because maybe this is just not the right path for you at this moment in time or maybe something is telling you that's not the right house but you got to trust your gut on that and you've got to trust your realtor when you're making those decisions you also have to keep your emotions in check it is very emotional to buy and sell homes it is really hard to just look at the numbers look at the facts and keep it professional even though it is a business decision. And while that's true, this is where your family's gonna visit. This is where you're gonna be making future memories. So don't kid yourself. There is absolutely emotion involved. Next, and this is a biggie. You've gotta make sure that you clearly understand the terms of your real estate contract. They vary by state. And even in Florida, we have multiple contracts that are legal to use here, and they all have different nuances. So make sure you are clear on which contract it is you're using, what are the high points, and if you need help, we've got attorneys and we've got people that we can send you to to help get clar clarity on any of those questions if you have them. But it's really, really important that you understand which contract you're making an offer on and understand what that means. And again, when we're talking about negotiating, I'm gonna again come back to, you've got to have a realtor on your side who you trust, who is a market expert. They are gonna help you negotiate the best terms. And listen, the best terms, they're not always price. You should absolutely be offering what's market. It does not have to necessarily be list, but it depends on the situation. So you've got to have someone in your corner who can help you put together the best offer with the best terms that are going to be mutually beneficial to both you and the seller so that you can get the home of your dreams. Comps matter and your realtor is gonna be able to help use them to support whatever price you're offering. And again, price is not the only tool. There are many parts to a contract and there are other pieces that might be more important to the seller than even the price. It can happen. Sometimes they need to close by a certain date. Sometimes they need to ask for a lease back. Sometimes the seller has different incentives and different goals. So work with somebody who can help you put together the best package so that you can get that home that you love and start living joy in it. We wanna know what questions do you have about moving to or living in Southwest Florida. You can always reach us on social media. You can comment in the boxes below. You can schedule time with us directly, or you can always text or call us at 239-776-6872. These are, we're talking today about five things you need to know before buying a home. What other questions do you have? We wanna help make this a seamless transition for you and help you decide what is best for your family.